Hi, I'm James Ward, a platform evangelist at Salesforce. I wanted to show you a little project that I've been working on that makes it easy to get open source libraries into your Salesforce orgs. This is based on a project I maintain called WebJars, which is a giant repository of open source JavaScript and CSS libraries. WebJars is primarily intended for Java developers using Java-based build tools, but I thought it'd be cool to make it so that you could take WebJars and pull them into a Salesforce org. So if you want to try it out, just go to forcewebjars.herokuapp.com and then you can log in with either a normal instance, that's developer production, or a sandbox instance. I'm going to log in with a normal developer instance and then I'll go through the typical OAuth uh, flow there and now I'm in the force web jars app. From here I can add new web jars to my org and these web jars will contain all the assets for those libraries that we add. So you see I've already installed bootstrap into this org and let's go add another one. Let's go add jQuery. So I'm going to select jQuery and then select the version that I want and then hit install web jar. That'll pull down that library and then install it into my org. So it's installed and now we can expand this out and we can see the files that are inside of this web jar. You'll see that there's some prefixing here. That's just due to the way that the web jars are organized for the Java tools. But we also can see the code snippet that I can use in Visual Force. So let's actually go try to use jQuery now that it's in my org. I can just go open up uh, my developer console and then I can start writing some Apex code that uses this web jar. So I'm going to create a new Visual Force page. We'll call it foo. And then we can just start coding. So I'm going to create a new uh, script here and set the source equal to and then that URL that I pulled in from uh, that code snippet that I pulled in from the Force WebJar site. Uh, we'll close out that script tag to load in jQuery and then once jQuery is loaded let's, uh, let's make sure I can use it. So let's do another script tag here and then use jQuery. So I'm going to just do something really simple. I'm going to set a callback function in jQuery that says that when the page is ready, let's do a window.alert and uh, let's just say hello. And then close all that out. Let's uh, save this file and then go give it a try. So great, that's saved. Now let's hit preview. And once this page loads, it should load jQuery from the web jar that I've deployed on my org. And then we'll see that sure enough, it worked. Uh, and the window.alert says hello. So that's great. Uh, we can real easily add these libraries into our orgs and manage them. Uh, if you do want to delete them, then you can just go into static resources. You'll see that these are just standard static resource zip files that contain all the assets that I need. So I can come in and uh, delete uh, the bootstrap one if I want. And then if we go back here and refresh and log back in, then we should see that bootstrap is sure enough gone. So that's Force Web Jars. Uh, you can try it on your own at forcewebjars.herocrap.com and you can see the full list of web jars at webjars.org. All right, thanks for watching.